द क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग वाज द ट्रायल बैलेंस ऑफ मिस्टर भारत आज एन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च 2016 and he desires to prepare his final accounts under this in the books of mr bharat we have to prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 we have to draw the format particulars uh, rupee symbol in both the sides and we have to start from the credit side that is by sales rupees 48000 less sales return that is rupees 930 in the final column we will have rupees 47070 next one is by closing stock rupees 5200 and in the debit side we will have opening stock that is rupees 4800 to purchases rupees 21350 less machinery here now go for the adjustment which is given in the four, sixth part of the adjustment that is during the year machinery was purchased for 2000 but it was debited to purchases account hence from purchases we have to deduct machinery and we have to add machinery in the balance sheet to the machinery balance already appearing in the trade trial balance then out of that total we have to calculate a depreciation and deduct from the new figure of machinery then the next one is next one is less purchases return that is 550 in the final column we will have rupees 18800 next one is to wages rupees 15000 to factory lighting and heating rupees 80 and second adjustment 3 months factory lighting and heating due but not paid rupees 30 that is add outstanding factory lighting and heating rupees 30 in the total column we will have rupees 110 then the totaling will be in the credit side rupees 52270 and after deducting the four expenses we will have the gross profit carried down the difference the gap the balancing figure rupees 13560 and in the profit and loss account there will be by gross profit brought down 13560 rupees next one is by discount it is given in the credit column of the trial balance hence it will be shown as an income then two salaries rupees 1400 in the debit column to insurance rupees 630 rupees to general expenses rupees 100 to rent rupees 600 to depreciation on furniture rupees 13 to bad debts rupees uh, 250 and to this bad debt it is given in the debit side debit column of the trial balance to this we have to add this is the third last item we have to add further bad debt given in the adjustment you see for the adjustment right of further bad debt rupees 70 and hence we have to add this to the bad debt already appearing in the trial balance debit column and then we have to deduct this bad debt from debtors and we have to calculate as per adjustment 4 provision for doubtful debts to be increased to 300 new provision add new provision for bad debt 300 and we have to total this, that is rupees 620 rupees less less provision for bad debt 250 which is appearing in the credit column of the trial balance after deducting this we have to show the final amount in the profit and loss accounts final column that is rupees 370 next is your to discount given in the trial balance debit column discount the second last item discount allowed 200 650 here discount allowed is 650 and discount received is 370 hence to this discount allowed discount given being an expenditure we have to add you see the fifth part 
provision for doubtful debts to be increased to rupees 300 and provision of discount on debtors at the rate of 2% to be made that is to discount rupees 650 add 2% add new provision for discount 2% that is rupees 84 how come the total debtors given in the trial balance debit column it is rupees 4570 Out of that, deduct rupees seventy as further added, and again deduct three hundred new provision. We will have rupees four thousand two hundred, and its two percent is new provision per discount. These are the debtors who are supposed to pay. That is, then we can make a provision of two percent on them. That is rupees eighty four. Hence, in the final column, we can show rupees seven hundred thirty four. Then total the credit side that is thirteen thousand nine hundred thirty rupees. Out of that deduct all expenses to find out to net profit carried down that is ten thousand zero eight three. And the balance sheet balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand sixteen. Under assets we can have current assets that is cash in hand rupees forty, cash at bank rupees six hundred fifty. Then bills receivable rupees seven hundred twenty. Then accrued commission, commission receivable, that is rupees twelve hundred. Commission receivable. Here, commission receivable is already given in the trial balance. Hence, if outstanding expense given in the trial balance, it will be shown under the head current liabilities in the balance sheet. Only there, no where else, because that is already adjusted. Here accrued commission is twelve hundred. It is already adjusted. Hence, it will be shown only here. Next one is sundry debtors rupees four five seven zero. Less further wad debts rupees seventy. Less new provision for wad debts rupees three hundred. We will have rupees forty two hundred. Less provision for discount. This is on this forty two hundred two percent. That is rupees eighty four. We will show it in the final column as four double one six rupees. Next is your closing stock, being a current asset shown here, rupees fifty two hundred. Then fixed assets under this head, plant and machinery rupees five thousand. Add new machinery included in purchases, that is seven thousand will be the in the final column. If depreciation is there, then this will be shown in the inside column, and deduction for discount will be deducted on this seven thousand. Here there is no discount, no depreciation. We have to treat in this way. Next is your furniture and fittings, rupees two hundred sixty, less depreciation five percent. That is rupees thirteen. In the final column is two four seven, and the final answer is rupees nineteen thousand one hundred seventy three. And in the liability side, we have this current liabilities under this head, sundry creditors, rupees fifty two hundred. This is outstanding heating and lighting rupees thirty, bills payable rupees five hundred sixty, long term liabilities and capital that is under this head we will have capital rupees four thousand, add net profit rupees ten thousand zero eight three, less drawings rupees seven hundred. In the final column we will have thirteen thousand three hundred eighty three. And totaling of this liability side will be rupees nineteen thousand one hundred seventy three, and this is the final answer.